Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So, this one's interesting. I have been in search of a new OEM for the Growler project. You guys know we had a bit of a snafu at that situation. And um, we've been looking for a new OEM in the United States to take on this project. And I reached out to a company that I met at Blade West. Uh, they were also recommended by a couple people. Um, so that company is Shank Knives. And um, we got to talking, and they seem like great people. Um, they're up for the uh, Growler project. We're just kind of getting things sorted out. And... Um, I asked if I could check out one of their knives so I could kind of feel out the quality a little bit. Because, I mean, I handled one at Blade West, but I didn't get to spend much time with it or anything, you know. Um, so this will be a chance for me to do that. And I uh, figured I'd just review it while I was at it, right? So this, I believe, is the Shank Knives Alley. Looks like a hard case, so I should be able to cut down the line here. Yeah. Try to open up some space. Oh, look at that. Okay. Got the Devo mash for unboxing. Come on, baby. Jeez. All right. So you have your um, Pelican style hard case that we see a lot these days, which is awesome. I love these. Um, I forget the name of it. This says S3 cases. So maybe there's different ones. Say, there's a model number made in the U.S. Okay, Shank Knives Alley number 70. Oh, that's cool. They literally number it. Okay, look at this. Comes in a little slip. That's cool. These are the ones I remember seeing now at Blade. I couldn't quite picture the knife again. Uh, here's some cool swag. USA. You got, or does it say USKA? I don't know. Okay. Okay, Shank Knives with USA. Get it? I'm an idiot. Um, you have a cool little, uh, almost feels like, you know, it's thick, it's plastic. Um, so this is Shank Knives, you can register your product, that's cool. Uh, maybe it is metal. <laughs> um, or this, I don't know, whatever, Kev. Cool logo here. And then Dylan is the guy I talked to, he's the uh, machine shop operations manager. Here's their information if you're interested in talking to them at all. Um, and here's the knife. Shouldn't be anything else in here. Okay. So I didn't know it didn't have a clip. That's interesting. But you know me, I like slips. So this is cool. And it fits that slip really well. It's, uh, it feels like a pretty good slip too. Interesting feeling. I, I like this. Shank knives. And here's the model, guys. It's a, um, unique looking knife. We are dead center down the middle. Um, See how our D10 is. Ooh -hoo -hoo! Yo. Sick. Uh, this is a liner lock. I actually really like this knife. Pops out. Really comfortable in the hand, honestly. Um, you know, it has that sod buster kind of blade to it, which is basically just a drop point with a really kind of upswept tip sort of a straight it's actually a straight back i guess kind of like the rr standard and maybe the sod buster that action is really good looks like we're rocking tie connector hardware yeah i like this a lot um i like that it's a liner lock too i'm assuming it's a steel liner lock just to you know um have it be a little easier to manufacture Let's see no well, it's pulling me in a little bit. It might be steel. Uh, I don't care either way. I just curious. This detent, guys, makes me so happy. Um, this they nailed the detent. I mean, it does not have any jimping on the flipper tab, which is a little weird, but um, I actually quite like this. This is cool. Look at the milling on here. Sorry, zooming in. Look at that milling right there. Man. I gotta say, guys, I think I would be proud to know that this company is making my knives. Um, so, 
That's awesome. Let me grab the uh, growler. I'll show you what we're talking about here. So we wanted, let's get it out. We had a satin one as well, but uh, sold that one because we spent a lot of money on the uh, prototypes that didn't come to fruition and somebody really wanted one. So we, um, we, uh, we let it go. So um, this is the growler model from Devo Knives. And uh, you guys might know we have a budget version of it and we were working on this premium version. And some things just didn't work out with the OEM um, and we parted ways. So we are looking for a new OEM and that's how I got in touch with Shank Knives. And yeah, if we could get this knife in this quality, I would be, um, I would be stoked. I mean, it's a different type of knife, but... You can see the machining quality here. Um, very, very well done. You have really nice milling on the inside of the scales. I mean, you have a, a liner attached in there, which is really cool. It looks like, oh, looks like it's just a, um, it's just a liner attached to the uh, titanium. So you don't have a steel liner filling that whole side up, which is cool. I was just talking to Colin about that. We were thinking about doing that on something. Um, Man, this is really nice. I might have to see if I can uh, pay for this and just keep it because I really like it. And it would be cool to kind of have that connection. Um, and you guys know I'm into slips, you know. Uh, might be cool to get a Northwoods leatherwork slip for it. Like, let me try this one. This is from Troy uh, Joe over at Lancelot Leather. But I wonder. Yeah fits right in there so you got it fully covered and then pull it out do your thing make the cut uh i don't know the steel on this let me put this back don't know the steel on this put this away as well but this would be the knife now i you know it's not going to come out looking like this because it's got to be a little bit different they got to convert everything um uh, to standard because this is all metric um so that's a whole thing, but yeah, I really, I really dig this. I don't know why I didn't spend more time with this at Blade West. It's really comfortable in the hand. Very sharp. Now, I don't know what the steel is. Uh, my best get AEBL. All right. AEBL on this guy. Relatively thick stock. I mean, so you got some of those American knife traits, right? Thicker um, geometry. Yeah, it's pretty thick, um, but... It's also a very short blade, and it looks like they chose to do it that way, you know. Centered down the line, really nice to see that. Really good action. I mean, they killed this detent, and uh, the action's good. I'm guessing tie connector bearings in here. If they have, uh, if they're rocking tie connector hardware, then makes sense. And that's what it looks like, the black Delrin bearings. So there you go. This is the Shank Knives Alley. You guys let me know what you think down below. Uh, would you be interested in a Devo Knives uh, Shank OEM'd project? Is that something you guys would dig? Um, right now, it's looking like it would probably start out with some small batch runs, kind of custom runs. We would do like batches of 20. Um People could sign up, you know, we could figure out a way to get people to sign up for a list or something and do them 20 at a time as we can. And if we get enough, um, you know, if we get enough people interested at the price point, maybe we can do a full run because they do offer full runs, but it's like a 250 minimum. And of course, the price is going to be a bit higher than your usual, um, you know, Chinese OEM project. So that's why we're thinking we start off small kind of build up, see what people like. If people don't like the model, well, you know, if people love it, then we can go from there. So, um, yeah, thank you to Dylan. I really appreciate you, dude. Uh, it means a lot that you were willing to send this out to uh, show your work. And, you know, uh, that's important to me. That's important to us um, to know what we're getting into. So thank you. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. I love you all, and I will catch you later.